Hello everyone, it's the Grand Strategy Nerd bringing you another episode of A House United. So the last episode wasn't that big of to-dos to do, but uh, yeah, we helped out Germany, helped out, meaning we sent some ships over, and, uh, and they won that war against the Danes, and now we're just building up our army trying to have the biggest military uh, over the United Kingdom. Britain's harassed. Yeah, Timbuktu. That's great. So, also building airplanes. That's good. All right. Let's start nerding it up. It's kind of late on that, but I'm going to say it anyways. I like my little catchphrase. I hope you like it, too. You probably don't, but that's okay. I love you guys anyways. Must respect their beliefs. Yay, everyone's back. With our huge, huge transport. What is this, Impressionist music? NCO tactical training. Excellent. Look at that morale boost. Travancore. Yiper. What can we do? We can increase Portugal's sphere of influence. And we can move into Cordial with them. One, two, three. Four. Sweden. Uh, Württemberg. I'm going to leave alone still. All right, so how about Montenegro? Let us expel the Bavarians. Looks like they had just gotten up to friendly, so we need to keep an eye on that. We also need to keep an eye on the North Germans who are about ready to become cordial with Montenegro. Stock market crash. Bleak day for the USA as Washington's financial district reels from the shock of a burst speculation bubble. Real estate prices have been soaring for the past year and a half. And while some analysts have warned for quite some time that the prices have been artificially high due to the effects of inflationary overconsumption, the matadors of the bull market have left any such warnings unheeded. In government circles, cries for increased bank and currency regulations are being heard, calling for an end to what is referred to as the failures of dog-eat-dog -dog capitalism. Regulate, tax, ban, panic. Or balance government budget, deregulation, and sound money. And gain one militancy for a year, giving the following effects of plus five loan interest, doesn't matter, minus 20 factory throughput, no, that matters a bit. Or this one takes two years, but this one gains militancy. Like I said, I will take the militancy. I can handle any anything that um, that they can throw out. Why don't we give pensions, though? We'll give the uh, the peasants some bread. Yeah, we'll be fine. They're hunting rebels. Everyone needs to hunt those rebels. Oh, oh, really? 110. I need to split that up. All right, so conservatism still loses. Okay, uh, can we split this in half? Yes, I believe we can. That actually looks pretty nice. And we move down here. And we're actually going to split these guys in half. And move one up here to Long Island. So we're going to combine these guys. Look at that experience. That's beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, you know, okay, I got you. I got you. Hold on. Long Island was, is a rally point. How about I move them off the rally point? There you go. Form your own new, new army. Uh, and I'll move some of them down here. Wait for these guys to get there. Yeah. Russia's just going around discarded. Ooh, sick them. Sakim. We can add to his three. Yeah, take that, Britain. I think Sakim's in. I think they're in India somewhere. Man, it's like. I have no idea. I guess we should just find it. Okay. 
That was not helpful. There it is. That is this little. <laughs> that should really be part of Tibet. Or even Bangladesh. That's part of Bangladesh nowadays. It is. No, it's not. It's, it's part of India. And no, it is part of Tibet. Anyways. Yeah, they, um. They're 100% Nepali, though. Interesting. <clears throat> but it is Indian core. Uh, I'm sorry that I cannot. Um. What do I say? I can't invest in them, although I would love to. Punjab? Oh, Panjab. Well, Tibet's ally was the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second sex. Although some women try zealously to incarnate this essence, it is hardly parentable. Blah, 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 blah. A renowned Af American suffragette has published a book on what can best be described as a subject of feminist theory. And the book is getting a fair amount of attention both nationally and internationally. Well, clearly for the prestige, we're going to condemn the book. This is an old man's club, by the way. Or the old boys club. Either way, no. Why is the artillery listed first? Oh, what do we got here? Trouble brewing. Thessalia. Th Thessalia. Against the Greeks. What are they doing? Greece is looking for a backer. Oh, Greece wants to acquire... Thessalia from whom from the Ottomans well the Ottomans were just we were on our side so I'm going to say no of course France has let's see how everyone else plays this out Russia this is going to take the normal the normal sides Bavaria is going to go over there the Germans should back Italy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you. I'm going to wait to see what Bavaria... I'm going to wait till the end, but I'm probably going to back Italy. Or I'm going to back the Ottomans and see what, see what Greek has to say about that. Um, there we go. Just looking here. Yeah... That'll be alright. And nothing going on here. Montenegro don't have enough influence yet. Brazil. I'm dealing with three friendly great powers. And Italy's investing in them. I'm probably going to lose Brazil again from my sphere. Here we're doing all right, too. Let's go to the UK, make happy again, make friends. Damn it. Allied with Egypt now. Why can we not form an alliance? Crisis is active. Ah, interesting. I don't know. Oh uh, no, I'll support I'll support the Ottomans in this. Liberty shines in the workshops and mills of our country, the free American people make daily discoveries and advances. The advancement of science is intimately tied to the free exchange of ideas, and nowhere is the exchange freer than the USA. Our liberty makes us a powerhouse of technological progress. Um I'm gonna do that so that we get the prestige. And Britain supported the Ottomans claims as well. Um, yeah, the Ottoman justification. Lions offers from China. They are now a uh, new... What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Uh, Asia. Who are they now? They're now a fascist dictatorship. So it looks like they keep on having all of these uh, rebellions and whatnot. Come on, Bavaria. Yeah, they really don't like me. 
They really don't like me. Just do it. Uh, Autarky, derived from the ancient Greek for self-sufficiency. In the early 20th century, Autarky was the goal for many states that felt further dependence upon the global economy was a threat to their national independence or the ideological basis of their regimes. So basically, loan interest goes down. Impressionist art, good. Let's see what's happening in our country. Uh, where's our fleets? Okay. We're getting cruisers there, and we have cruisers here. So we can actually... Um, I'm going to create a new unit. We'll move over all the ironclads. And get rid of them. Sorry, old oh chaps. And they should just... Oh, no, nope, we'll move out. Close, select, up there. Select them. All right, we're going to call this the easy. Oh, oh my crazy. How about I just do that? Whoa, whoa, don't know what's going on. Asiatic fleet. Or would that be Asiatic? I don't know how you say that. Curse luck and bold. Morale goes down a lot. Heroic, but he's a butcher. He's a, he's a sucker. Um... Yeah, Francis, we're like that heroic and went to the Naval Academy. Uh, how's this crisis going? Do we still got a... F um, yeah, we'll feed the poor. Do we still have... Uh, oh no! Chamberlain's dead, our Admiral. Life without parole. No, I don't even know what this is, but we're taking... Oh, and there, Luke Rhodes comes over here. That don't really think that's what we wanted. What does that prestige game mean? Oh, that's the prestige that he has. Well, if we sort by prestige, he has the most. Okay. Aggressive, but he's old school, yo. No school like the old school. Henry Bartlett. Poor Luke Rhodes. We'll just make him chief of staff. And now Augustus Wallace has died. A white piece from France. Michael Leon. He's a madman. Um, persistent. Oh, Cyrus Blair. Why don't we do him? Put him in charge. He's off. <clears throat> he has no prestige. Yeah, Samuel Scott. I guess I can really move these guys off the Chinese border. And let's check our... Well, first go here. And let's check our sphere. <clears throat> okay. Asia. Wow, look at all these places. I don't even consider some of them because I just know I'm not going to get them at all. Like Oman, friendly with Najid, I'm the only friendly one. Uh, neutral with Nepal, I came too late to that party. I'm leading in Oman though as well. Panjab, I'm going to be late. I am in the lead here. This is only going to cost me 25 of our influence. Discredit the British. You know, I should just give up here. Just tired of seeing it pop up. Oh, there we go. We can now build planes. Well, we gotta research the factories for it. Navy. Um. Where should we go with. Investment bank. I mean, we're already earning a lot of money. 
mass politics, functionalism. Eh. What does this lead to? Electric rolling techniques, Fordism. Now, eh, what don't we do? Why don't we do this? Yeah. Modern naval doctrine. So we can increase our naval bases once again. Join them guys together. And put them down. There we go. Alright. This. And then we'll split these guys out. Two, three, four. Put them down there. Yeah, that's fine. That's another one I need to get rid of. There's Luke Rhodes again. You know you couldn't get rid of him. Um, that's just artillery. What do we have here? Upper house rearranged? Whatever. Doesn't look like that much changed. Uh, they'll be outweighted in artillery, but that's okay. Seems to be par for the course. Okay. That's a beautiful army. March them up to Caribou. And what do we have in the hopper? Still have 15. We are still waiting on infantry and engineer. Now we're waiting on the engineer for. And the armor. If I could just, I would just build tanks. Just keep on building tanks. I can't expand factories. There I go trying. Look at that. We're building automobiles. Automobiles in Guadalupe. Man, everyone loves that Guadalupe model. How do they get them? I mean, obviously they ship it, but it's an odd place to build it. Import substitution industrialization, synthetic oil factory, and we are activating oil. I don't know why I raised my voice about that, but I didn't. They're in a war. The Italian Ottoman War. Are you. <laughs> what the hell? They want to cut the... But you just backed them. What is Italy doing? You just backed them. Well, Wallachia joined in. They don't want to be left out, I guess, being right here. <laughs> Too bad the, Brit the Germans are occupying my... Whatever, though, you know. I'm glad they left me out of it. They didn't even ask. They're just like, Whatever. They don't care about us anymore. 415 each day. Why don't we go to the Ottomans, though? Uh, where are they? Mwah. You're just helping out any way I can, bro. A destabilized Europe is good for me, I think. Aha, uh -huh, election starting. I wonder what it'll be. Maybe another Republican. I love how no one, no one can, can uh, colonize that. Um, news reaches us from Sikkim that the local ruling elites have thrown our ambassador out of the country and that their troops are laying siege to our embassy with apparent intent to enforce the decision. Uh, we're going to declare war no matter what we do here. Well, I guess we'll, uh, cut down the size. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Okay. But yeah, no one can come here. Like, there's, <laughs> because I'm really, I really want to know if I should justify war, but they're allied with me. Um... I'd just be like, I need to incorporate you. <laughs> Enough of this crap. We'll expel the British. Uh, 
All right, so I guess we started a war here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I guess we started a war here with the Sikkim. Um, this is the stupidest war. How the hell am I going to get there? I need to go and... Can I have military access? Actually, let it go. Let's see if they... Uh, Are they gonna... Okay. Oh, you suck. You suck, China. I should have just asked for military access. Merchants harassed. But I need it for Tim from Tibet then, too. This is the stupidest war. Now they're at war with Tibet. What the hell is going on? And now I'm at war... Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. So I just, I really do just need it from them. I was going to say, come on, man. All right, let's, let's take a little marchy, a little march. You go there. I guess I have to wait for them. No, can I? You just gave me access. Didn't they just give me access? Military access. They will accept. There we go. Now I can make that move. Oh, look at that. I had it stored. That's pretty cool. And you're coming all the way. Do they keep on... I can my policy debate. Well, we should... Laissez faire. This is what I don't mean. Protectionist policies. Like, we don't have protectionist policies. This is Sikkim, right? Like, this is where you need to go and attack. Why can I attack Tibet, but I can't actually attack the what I'm supposed to be attacking? It'll all become clear once I get get through. Heated debate. Free we just answered this. Um everyone wants free trade. Safeguard our industry. I don't need militancy. There. I'm gonna let the chips fall where they may. Alright, well I'll end it here as we attempt to attack Sikkim that we supposedly we cannot get through for some odd reason. We'll figure out a way to, to get in there. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of A House United. If you like this video and like the series, go ahead and click on that thumbs up. Let's me know that it's a good series and you want to keep on seeing more episodes. If you have not yet, you can click on the red subscribe button at the end of this video or below. Clicking on that button lets me know that I'm doing a great job overall and that you want to see more Grand Strategy games like Victoria 2 from me, the Grand Strategy Nerd. Till next time, everyone. Good night and good luck.